it is day one of filming my stop motion movie and um, I was really upset about coming out today because it is really hot. It is like 80 something degrees, almost 90. So, and you, if you know me, you know that I hate the heat and I can't stand it. So I was not happy about filming outside, but it was in the script so I had to do it. And um, the scene actually turned out pretty well. Uh, it was just a driving scene between Emily and her mom. And sorry for the bad lighting, but yeah, that's Emily and then that's her mom. And yeah, I got this car from my friend, so it was really helpful in this scene. Otherwise, I had to use the car that I made, which is not my favorite car. This car is obviously way better, so it works better in the film. But yeah, like I said, it turned out pretty well. And um, I'm just about finishing up, so I'm going to go inside and start editing now. Oh, and also, I got some pretty interesting looks. Ugh, bug. Um, I got some pretty interesting looks from people, so that was fun. Hey guys, it is now day two of filming, and I am now on scene two, well, the, like, the middle of scene two, but um, this is when uh, Emily just finished unpacking in her room, and um, she goes to the kitchen where her mom is, and this box is actually the same box from, uh, what is it, uh, Emily's room, so just, I labeled it with kitchen stuff on the front, if you can, wait, hold on, focus this, kitchen stuff on the front, and then show you a secret, on the back, it says Emily stuff, yeah, it's literally right next to Emily's room, and I didn't want to make a, a mess around my house, so I just put it in the same spot, I have the two mean girls here, and then Emily, and uh, her best friend, or soon to be best friend. And um, these lockers are just made out of paper. And then this one is actually a box because um, Emily's locker, I needed it to open for the scene. So yeah, and then I just put some posters on the wall. There's that, which is very important. And then another sign. And then I uh, used a piece of paper to cover up the outlet right there, so yeah. But uh, I think the lockers are pretty cute. And then I just put a random desk right here. Don't know why. Just to make it look like a school, I guess. Then I have my script. And so, yeah. Hey, guys. So, it is now my next day of filming. Um, I honestly forgot what day of filming it is. But probably around, like, my fifth or sixth. Um, but now I'm moving on to the next scene. So, uh, today I'm going to be dressing these three because these are like the main three that are in the scene so i have dc here who's going to be playing the principal and i'm going to be dressing into her i found this like really cute outfit that i'm so excited to dress her in um these black pants they're just like really long black pants shirt but um it says market on it so if you guys can see that it's not focusing well anyway it says market and so I think I'm just going to cover that up with saying like principal or something like that. And then uh, since it doesn't really matter what shoes she wears because you can't really see her shoes, um, I'm going to be just putting her in these blue like flats that come with like the doll's meat outfit. I'm going to be putting these pearls on her and hopefully they'll like, you know, like be noticeable or not like clamp around her neck because like it's not really like real pearls, it's actually like a blurry slit. Okay, so these are the three dolls. So about her braid, I wanted them to be like her thing, like she's she's wear, worn braids this whole entire movie so far, so I think I'm going to leave her in braids. now another day in filming, and like I said, I don't know what day of filming it is, it's probably like the 10th or something crazy like that, but I just got done with the scene where um, Emily has her first day at her spelling team. So yeah, that scene went pretty well, except I was a little uncomfortable sitting on the floor, but that's fine. Um, so this is Emily's room that I set up, and obviously this is after like she's unpacked and everything. So we have a bed that has like the um, a comforter, and then this is like the blanket that she's gonna have on top of her. And then there's two pillows. Um, these were given by a good friend of mine, and I really appreciate that. If you're watching, thank you. Um, and then I have these two um, dresser things that I got from my grandma, and then um, MacBook laptop right there. That's really cute. And then the shelf that was shown in like the very first scene of the movie, and then a little basket right there. But none of like this side of the room is gonna be shown. So I mean, yeah.
So I just came back from Meyer. I mean, sorry, not Meyer. Um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels to get some supplies for the stage for my movie. And um, the stage is actually going to be used to. Er, you. Uh, the stage is going to be like built with um, my sister's gymnastic bar, and then um, a mat like that came with the bar. So and the mat is going to be the floor. But um, for the floor, I got some. I got two poster boards, and then to make it look like a floor, I got, I think, 11 of these, like, wood, like, printed stuff, or, like, uh, not cardstock. Well, I guess it's kind of like cardstock. And then I got some rope for, like, uh, tying the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the curtains back. And then I got this. It's, like, some wire uh, that I'm going to form into hoops to make, like, the, um, to make the, oh, I cannot talk today, to make the curtain slide, and then this is the actual curtain. So I did a little bit of filming today, but I wanted to show you the stage that I literally just finished. Um, it is a really cool stage, and if you haven't noticed, um, this is a gymnastics bar that my sister let me use, so thank you, little sis. Um, and then here is this little microphone that I made. It is so adorable, I really like it. Um, and then here is the back. I put some rope. And then this is like the backstage area, so there is going to be a scene back there. Um, but I'll show you. The curtains actually open. If you look under here, there are rings, like almost like a like a shower curtain. But right now I'm making the podium. And this is like the lettering I'm going to glue on. It stands for like the spelling bee. And I cut it out of the sign. So yeah, um, but I'll show you. Uh, this is what the podium looks like, and then I'm going to have a microphone out of it to make it look like the announcer is speaking. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I start filming again, I guess. Bye for now. Okay, so I'm filming my first stage scene. I have these fairy lights up. And they're working pretty good, I have to say. Um, and all the dolls are lined up. But this, I have my light here. And I feel like it's too, like, you know, like light for an auditorium. Um, yeah, I want to try to find a way to make it dark, but I'm just not sure yet. So, yeah. Hey guys, so right now I'm filming the last scene of the movie, which is on the stage, which is where I've been wanting to film for a long time, but this is probably the last behind the scenes clip you're gonna see because it's the end of the movie. But I have these really cool fairy lights and stuff at the top and then at the bottom. And then I have some of the dolls that are actually gonna like be on the stage. They're just acting as an audience right now because um, there's one part where Emily's gonna peek out and see all these people, so there actually has to be a lot of people. So, yeah. Um, and then I had to redo all their numbers because I lost them, so I just wrote them. And then I have my script, and then there's a light behind me, uh, my umbrella light, to make it look, you know, a little bit more stagey, I guess. And then, um, yeah, I'm filming at night. It's almost 9 o'clock. I was hoping that it would get darker sooner, but it hasn't. So I'm probably going to be here till like 11.